It's Android 16 time now and almost every brand is putting their AI twist to it. OnePlus has also launched the Oxygen OS 16. That I would say is more exciting than most of the phones that are being recently launched right now. This is Oxygen OS 16 and if you thought Oxygen OS was already smooth then I would say this version is butter in motion. And yes, there are some new hidden easter eggs inside that I'll be talking about at the end of the video. So just make sure you stick around for that. Welcome back to the world of crazy tech. This is me, Yash, and you're watching Digit. So let's start with the first thing that's instantly noticeable, the animation and smoothness. So OnePlus calls it flow motion animation and it's not just a fancy name. You can literally feel the seamlessness flow from AOD to lock screen to home screen to apps. Hard to show it on camera, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. OnePlus Oxygen OS 16 also brings in tons of customization features and some of them are genuinely useful. Like there's this new Flux theme 2.0 that comes with more and more design options and few of them are a bit funky but there are some subtle options as well. Then there's lock screen customization and now you can tweak font styles, more clock layouts, add mini widgets that shows information like steps, weather, battery right on the lock screen. The home screen apps are also scalable so you can go minimal or bold depending on your vibe. Even the app drawer is now smarter. It can automatically categorize apps by the type. No need to drag and of apps into a folder. I know, looks a bit too inspired by iOS, but that is what you get. I know you guys are gonna like it. I loved it because customization is something that I would really admire to have on my phone. And seems like uh, OnePlus is on the right track. But what about the productivity part? I'm coming to that in a bit. Just give me a second now. Huh? You've already seen OnePlus AI on the OnePlus 13s. Well, the Oxygen OS 16 takes it to a whole another level. The plus key that OnePlus 13s had was one of the best implementations of what having an extra button and AI on your phone can do. But it now supports more languages and you can just long press on the plus key to record a voice memo that will automatically automatically save to your mind space. And then there's AI collection which automatically group related data. Say all your trip, photos, tickets, confirmations, screenshots all in one place. But let me show you what's the coolest part. OnePlus has partnered with Google to bring the AI madness of Google Gemini and Mindspace together. Think of it this way. Whatever question you want to ask from Google Gemini, it will not only be answered based on Google research but also your Mindspace so that you have like a more precise answer. But all of this is going to be helpful only if you use Mindspace in your day-to-day -day life if your mind space data is empty, I'm sure even AI cannot help you out. The Notes app also brings in tons of new AI features. Let me show you how they work. Uh, so there's new thing called AI Writer that can polish, format and proofread your notes. And you can even turn plain text into tables or mind maps automatically. Let me show you how it works. So there is like a very complex form of a family tree that will take me hours and hours to understand. And if I just select all of this, go on to AI Writer on the bottom left, tap on mind map, the OnePlus AI will do its thing and, and basically will give me a very precise and a very properly formatted form of all of this information that is very easy to grasp. Now if you want you can copy it, maybe export it as a PDF or maybe as an image and use it wherever you want. Also there is new option to put all of this information in a table. So let's say if you have like a very complex form of information that you want to put it in a table form, you can just do that by hitting on table. And similar to mind map, you can then copy it, maybe paste it in Google Sheets, maybe paste it in whatever software you want. But yeah, a good feature all in all. The camera app has gotten some AI rework. There's new thing called text scanner that can basically fix document angles, remove glares and output a clean flat scan. Even if you're clicking a picture of a screen from a distance, it'll just do its thing and give you a good output. There's also AI portrait glow which enhances the overall lighting of a shot. You might have seen those pictures where some part of your face is not properly lit. So yeah, this is there for the rescue in those situations. And there's AI perfect shot also which fixes blinked eyes, maybe awkward faces using face substitution. OnePlus has also gone heavy with the ecosystem features this time and this is something that some features I was not even expecting. You also get live commute updates, food delivery tracking like Zomato, sports scores, all intelligently shown in your lock screen and fluid cloud that is basically OnePlus's version of Dynamic Island. Okay, so that wraps up about most of the video. So let me talk to you about the hidden Easter eggs of the new OnePlus Oxygen OS 16. I guess you're already aware about the part where you open the calculator, type in one plus hit is equal to and it shows you a fun little animation that celebrates the OnePlus logo. But this time around, there's another hidden Easter egg. So all you have to do is open your dialer app, hit on one plus and hit the call button and you'll get to hear a secret message. So bring your phone closer and hear this message out. Be bold. It takes courage to be different. Be fast and be smooth. Hear what's never been heard. See what's never been seen. Imagine it. Then make it real. Start with one. Find your plus. 
never settle. So to sum it up, the major focus of OnePlus's Oxygen OS 16 was on customization and making the overall usability a bit better. It's overall fast, smooth, smarter and kind of decency that you would expect from OnePlus's Oxygen OS. Yeah, I think this has a lot of DNA from it. Hands down, I'm very excited to try it out on future OnePlus phones. I'm really excited to see how the UI is gonna be like because that will have better displays and processors. So yeah, all in all, very excited. So that was it for this one. If you like what you watch, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family members who have a OnePlus phone. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us some questions about the OnePlus Oxygen OS 16. I'll be happy to answer you that. All right, I'll see you in the next one. This is Meer signing off and I'll see you in the next one.